Uh, let me tell you, uh, is a is a is an is a tactics. They are using tactics to lure Igbos into Nigerian military, thereby reducing the enrollment, the number of enrollment okay. of Igbo youth into the African military. Mm. So if you ask me, I will tell you that that brain is too cheap. Mm. They are trying to craft out a way mm. to reduce the population of the youth in mm. Igbo land. Mm. It's a setup. After luring them into that, they will mm. make sure that none of them will come home. Mm. Most trouble spots in Nigeria, uh. in the North East, Connor, where bandits are pretty, mm. they will enlist, they will assign all the evil, evil soldiers mm. to that point mm. to be killed by all these bandits. So it is a, it is a cheap trap, mm. which of course I know we are evil, we have sense. Mm. But I go make no get sense. How could they tell Igbo man to go and join military? Oh, that is the position where Igbo man, prefix Igbo man. Now ah. Tinubu and Awa for Tinubu. Hmm. Tinubu don't like Igbo man. No. Tinubu they use one man out of sense <laughs> to make sure that he brings, he bring, he brings Igbo down. Hmm. But it's not going to work because Igbo youth, they have sense. Instead of going to school, hmm. building more schools, hmm. building manufacturing industries in the southeast, ah. corner the whole Igbo youth there hmm. to work in those industries. Build more high institutions in the east, more schools. Mm. Corner the youth there to go and read, to study. You are enrolling them into military. Mm. To go, to sign all of them to some disappearance to kill all of them. Igbo mm. youth, who na kwa kwa na? Igbo youth, who na kwa kwa na? Igbo youth, who mwa ka youth Igbo? Who na ga kwa na? Never you be enlisted into Nigerian military, or it is a trap. Mm. There are many good jobs that should have been, you know, given to Igbo man. Mm. There are mm. schools to build, mm. recreation center, mm. skill acquisitions. Mm. You should at least from there mm. learn one thing or the other. Mm -hmm. But look at today, Tinubu administration inviting Igbo youths mm. into the military. Mm. Oga, we get that sense. They're not going to go. Mm. As far as Igbo youths are concerned, they're not going. Mm. Eh? They won't go. But you know, you know, you are a good man. See your belly, you get be good belly. Mm. Your belly is too big. Good, now good thing, no doubt. Okay, Igbomans are not going to be enrolled into Nigerian military. There are other succulent, juicy gifts, things mm. to be done for the Igbo youth. Mm. Not enlisting them into Nigerian army. Mm. To go and kill all of them. Mm. They cannot go. Mm. They will never ever go. You have been using all this uh, aquari to seduce the Igbos into mm. death, mm. death trap. Nigerian military that is just death trap. Nigerian military is full of repentant Boko Haram. They have been re reintegrated into Nigerian military, repentant Boko Haram. Repentant Boko Haram that went the other day in the north and set police search on a place, killed some policemen there. Mm. If Igbo use are enrolled into Nigerian army, mm. they will all die, they will kill them. Mm. The Boko Haram repented once that I mix up with our soldiers, mm. they will turn their guns against those Igbo youths mm. and kill all of them. Federal government, Igbo youths, they are not coming, they are not going. Mm. You don't give Boma what is good, you only give the Boma fire, hot fire, hot iron. Mm. Scorpion and serpents mm. and the gift one and they give southeastern Nigeria. Mm. And rolling them into the military. Is that one the best road you should have constructed in Igbo? Railway line from Lagos to Oka, mm. you know good. You want to you want to you want to enlist all of them into Nigerian army. Mm. That one a better job for the mm. Igbo. Mm. Now the better employment where you go employ those guys. Mm. Employment where you go give them now to enroll them into Nigerian military. Mba kwao, tinubumba, no, they are not coming. Eh? Mm. Uh, they are not coming. You have enough planning, mm. people from the Sahel countries, uh. they are riding Okada all over Lagos. Give order to your men to come here and what? What? At least all of them into Nigerian army. Mm. You have enough youth in the southwest. Mm. Tell your men to come here. Enlist them into Nigerian army. Mm. You can't enlist Igbos, mm. Igbo youths into Nigerian army. We said no. Igbo youths are not going. Mm. No. But but for some some of you that you know that what is that the dream of working with the Nigerian military? 
you know, and um, do you not think um, they will tempt them to, to join them? If or, they try it, yeah. if they try it, they are going to turn against Nigerian military. If you see an Igbo man, Igbo youth, that say, I want to join the Nigerian army, mm. if he goes there, he's going to turn against them. Mm. It is a very dangerous venture. Mm. If they embark on that venture, mm. I think Nigeria army will have problem. Because if you send him to go and fight youth in the east, he will turn against you, maybe his guy will shoot you. No, I'm telling you the truth, though. Ibo youth, ah, they, won't do, they won't go. No, sorry, I'm talking about. Ah, they are, they, they are going to set the barracks up place. Hmm. I'm talking yes. about. The 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 the, Ibo, the like the youth in the east that have always had this passion of becoming a Nigerian military. It will be too it will it will turn a dangerous man if you enlist him into Nigerian military. They are hungry to be enlisted into the Afghan military mm. army. That is their hmm. the dream of every boy youth hmm. is to join the Afghan army. I'm telling you. Hmm. If you allow those people into Nigerian military, they will turn against them. Hmm. The boy youth who enlisted into Nigerian army today will set the whole barracks ablaze. Hmm. See, it is not a good gift. Somebody to enlist your children into Nigerian army. Hmm. Is that the employment that we, they should create for the youth in the East? Mm. There are many good things they should have created. Recreation center, schools, have enough scale acquisition institutions, establishment. Mm. Mm. Let the youth in the East learn skills. They should acknowledge, ac acquire some expertise. Mm. Uh, not reintegrating my children, our brothers, into the Nigerian army. Mm. To go and fight Boko Haram for you. Mm. That sense where well, I when I get to get them double. Hmm. People might get that sense double. They are not going to be listed into Nigeria. Then, then, sorry, for the ones that um, financially, if, if the Nigerian army pay, will pay more than the liberation army, won't they look at that aspect too? If, if, they, if they will pay more than the liberation army, won't they, won't they look at that aspect? They are France. Because of money, no money is the root of all evil. They are they France, <laughs> liberation army. They pay the youth well. The youth are paid too much money. Okay, if you see where they are taking care of those guys. Nigeria doesn't have money. The money that Nigeria has is for them. Nigerian politicians, they don't pay salary. Governors. Mm. Nigerian president, the ministers. Okay, the civil servants are suffering, gnashing their teeth now. Mm. While the average lawmaker in the house is going home with over 10 million. Mm. Yes, every month. Mm. Workers are suffering, teachers mm. are suffering. Mm. Other people that are into civil service, mm. they are suffering. Nigerian politicians are the ones cutting away the money themselves. Mm. They don't pay salaries. So how are you telling me that if they enlist you into the military, they are going mm. to pay them money? Mm. When they are not paying salaries. Mm. Do they pay? They don't pay. Mm. They don't have money. <laughs> yes, I'm telling you the truth. You have senior senators. You have junior senators in the house. After the pa pardon of the budget, at the tune of 500 million, Billion Naira goes to the senior seniors mm. and the one that are following senior, uh, senior senators. Mm. So that's how they divide it in the house. They are the one cutting away our common wealth. Public fund money is going into their private accounts. Mm. How do you think they are going to pay well? Are they paying police well? Mm. Are they paying civil servants well? No. They make use of this money because they are the political leaders. Nobody can question them. Mm. Are you listening to me? Mm. Oga? They are trying to question how pay money. Nigerian military. They should go their way. Employ their full and their house and men. They should leave people money. Mm. Okay. They should leave people money alone? Yes. They okay. should leave people you say no. Mm. Okay, thank there you. Are projects to be executed, to be implemented in the South East. Yes. Mm. They should go and do one or more projects in the South East. Not asking people used to be enlisted into the mm. Nigerian military. It is wrong now. Mm. That one is not a is not a is not a succulent position. How could they allow people used into the army so that they will be killed by Boko Haram and bandits in the in the north? Mm. Oga, we don't allow it. Mm. So you guys so so no hope for the um, Biafran youth or the Igbo youth, you know. Oga, giving them that job, employ, reintegrating them or enrolling them mm. into Nigerian military, 
is not an employment, is not friendly, it doesn't mean it is not a project whereby you can invite the youth to go there to acquire one skill or the other. Mm. I listen to me, it's not a, develop, a developmental project. What we needed in the East, if from federal government, should be good infrastructures, mm. infrastructural amenities mm. that the youth could at least benefit from. Recreation center. Mm. Are you listening to me? Ah, scale acquisition institutions. Are you listening to me? So, in listening them into the soldier is just like giving them what? That sentence. That sentences are not for good youth. Mm. That you go to the north and look for full and they are also all of them full Nigerian military. That will allow Igbo youth to be. Okay, good morning. Yeah, good morning, my host. I am Mr. Bajani Okokonde. This is the Republic of Biafra. Live a Mazen Nam de Kano. And this is the OB government of Biafra. Long live the Republic of Biafra. Long live Mazen Nam de Kano, our emperor. Long live Samuel Epa, our God giving prime minister. And the Finland people that accommodate him. May God bless everyone of you in Jesus' name. Long live all our fans all over the world. That are with us, watching us. May God bless everyone of you. Do health, long life, and prosperity. In Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, um. The um, alleged PM of um, the um, Biafrans, um, Samuel Pasco, has said that um, the second um, phase of the voting, uh, um, that they should come out and um, vote for you know, the liberation and the freedom of Biafrans. Um, what can I say to this? Um, to me, I look at it, I look at it, and uh, I look at it and uh, understand that uh, our God given. Able Prime Minister Samuel Nepa is right by taking that decision. This is why I always said that he's a wise man. And that I know that he, he, he is one of the wise men that God has raised up to lead with their friends. Now, to my own understanding, I look at it that he has discovered that the people voting with their faces appearing on the camera or on the voting list. Put fear in the life of so many people who want to vote, but they, but they did not vote. Mostly the difference in Nigeria of today. Because the difference in Nigeria of today May let come out, come out to vote, but they will be sharing that as their picture or face will be appearing mm. on the voting list or voting paper forms, and this is electronics. I fear we hold them that one day the thing may hijack mm. or may hack mm. by the government of Nigeria. One more other, they will find out, and mm. when they see their faces that they are voting on behalf of their friends. Their foundation, mm. then their life will be in danger. Mm. This is why most of the their friends in Nigeria of today did not come out to vote. Therefore, he himself has found some, something like that. Mm. Therefore, made him to say, Okay, now you can come out and vote mm. without your face, no mm. more picture, mm. without your face appearing. So that every big mm. come and the hurry mm. that are their friends mm. in Nigeria mm. will come out and vote with confidence that there will be no harm facing them. Mm. This is why, or maybe, what made him to remove the pictures. Although there's a form for it, there's a form. There's a form, but in that form, mm. you only feel the forms. Feel your age, feel other necessary things, mm. and cast your vote mm. without the picture. Without the picture. Mm. And in this form, your local government, you are everything that will appear there. It's only your future, your future will not appear. Mm. Because if your local government, your name, your son name, and the definition did not appear, some people that are not Nigerian are not Biafrans, that are Nigerians, may go there as I'm voting against Biafra. So your locality, whatever you vote, whatever you feel, will prove whether you are Biafra or not Biafra. You understand? Mm. So that form is there. Even in anything you are going to do, in anything that requires something like that, you have to feel for. Even 
if you if you go to a party or a place to see somebody, mm. there's a form you have to fill in the gates before they will allow you to go in. Mm. So for, for that form, it's right. It's good. You can just, just come out and vote. You don't know that you come out where you come from. Just come out and vote without mm. identification. Mm. You have to vote. Even in Nigerian election, when you when, when you go to re, to to register to have your uh, under like, uh, voting card, you have form to fill. Whatever you fill in that form is what will appear in your voting card. Mm. And when you take that your voting card, though, they will stop it and find out the information in voting card, what are the information in their system mm. before they allow you to vote mm. or not to vote. So what our God given able, wise uh, prime minister mm. did is right. The decision is right decision. For the second phase, have you? For the second phase? Yes. Because uh, uh, he used the first phase as the running mm. to know how it will be. Now, this second phase and third phase that will lead to the declaration of the preservation of Biafra mm. in December 2nd, mm. 2024, mm. will be more tougher, more refined than the first phase, phase he mm. used as the swallowing. Because what, what, what he observed or he, he saw in the first phase made him to make this amendment or correction in this second phase. Hmm. You understand? Hmm. Yeah. Okay. But I, I, um, but like people come now to vote now, like um, I think like the Eastern governor recently they were like um, the Biafran's um, um, sit at home and um, people coming out to vote and stuff like that. And are you not sure? Are you sure the Biafran some um, Ibos? Are you sure they are happy? You know, with this sit at home and them coming out to come and vote, you know, because because whenever there's um, voting, they, 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 they'll be sit at home. So I'm sure most of them they're happy, you know, with this um, sit at home, um, 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 sit at home. Uh, we be in France. We are happy for the sit at home. We don't lose anything for the sit at home. We benefit, more benefit, more gain, great gain mm. in the sit at home. Mm. Even if at all, the voting, voting, we don't declare any day for the voting. Mm. But if you want to declare the day of voting, we fall on Monday seat at home. Mm. Still, it's our own benefit. Because this Biafra voting is not what we have a pulling boot. Like other, ele like other election, mm. somewhere you have a pulling boot. This one is to stay at your home, take your hand drive phone or your computer, do the voting. If you're in forest, you do the voting. If you're in the farmland, you will do the voting. If you're in your shop, you will do the voting. If you are in, a, in, a, in your working office, you do the voting. Wherever you are, you do the voting. Because it's electronic system. These are not to come and queue on the line. Mm. After people queue on the line, then beat them, some beat them. So At the end, the result is manipulated. Mm. This one, not so. No, so. Therefore, at the sit at home, let me remind you, sit at home, every Biafra is observing sit at home now, mm. willingly, not with force. Mm. Every Biafra are observing sit at home. Mm. They take it as a joy to show their support, to show their solidarity to mm. our leader, Emperor Mazi Namdi Kano. Our Odendi. You understand? Even both government officials, both the governor himself, governors themselves, they are doing sit at home. But they will come outside and say, eh, no more sit at home. Sit at home have been abolished. Sit at home have been cancelled. Then what they develop now is as on normal days like this now. They will go and camera moto, camera movement, then uh, on a on Monday sit at home, they will come and put it in the media and to say uh, no more sit at home. So 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 state, any good state, this is state. They have abolished their castle without mandating the sit at home that the other and uh, the government or non government were carrying around. But these people come out to come and do their business. They are no more observing sit at home. That's a propaganda. Mm.
That's a propaganda. Hmm. But but the, but the but you see the southeast governor, you know. Um, I think um, that was in February. They were they were saying that um, no faceless organization can stop, you know, um, uh, can stop can make um, um, the, the, the people of the east sit at home. That um, that um, and for that they are looking into you know stopping the sit, uh, sit at home. Do you think the governor? I think. Do you think they have the power to you know stop this stuff? For how long will they, will they be saying like this? Since three years now, or more than three years, they're holding down the camera. Four years. The, 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 four years. Four years now, they're holding down the camera. You sit at home. Start. Have they been able to stop it? It's mm. not every year, every month, every every week. They come and say, no more sit at home. No more sit at home. No more this. No more that. Mm. No more this, no more that. Eh? Mm. But this is not going to continue. These people are powerless people. Mm. The governors, the honest and evil, the politicians, enemies of Biafra, enemies of Nam de Carlo, enemies of Samuel Nepa. They are frustrated. Mm. Nobody is looking at, looking at them. The people that are controlling Biafra, that Biafra listen to them, that the leaders of Biafra are our emperor. Mazi. Mm. Namdi, Talo, and our God given Ebu wise Prime Minister, Samuel Neba, is the one people are following. Have you ever one day seen anybody come on Monday to do business in Biafra life? Everybody always be silent. Everywhere. People now, people choose it by themselves. Mm. Okay, do you remember when Anambra said governor? Saludo. Last month, when I meet the friends, uh, Union Association. Get in your job. Get in your job. Continue. We'll call that um, one. Well, uh, yeah. Saludo. Mm. When I meet the people and told them that they should abandon sit at home. Mm. And come out of them. What do they tell him? Mm. They tell him capital no. Mm. If you want us to stop sit at home, mm. go and do what? Release Nam the Kalo. Mm. Bring Nam the Kalo out of force before we stop, stop sit at home. And that the very time he talked, he said that then, mm. the next Monday, a number was totally goes down. Mm. Even farmers did not go out. Farmers did not go out. People don't go to stream to go fetch water. Nobody goes out. Mm. They were completely indoor until that day is so, was over. Before they before they came mm. before they came out mm. to come and uh, start doing, doing their business on Tuesday. Mm. So this will show you that nobody, none of them can stop sitting at home. Mm. After all, they are saying faceless, faceless. Who is faceless? And I'm the guy is with them. It's not because of faceless. Someone is over there in Finland. Mm. Is this someone like faceless? Mm. They know him, they know where he is. Do someone like wear mask? All of them can wear mask. They don't wear mask. Mm. All of them we are there. So nobody for different agitation is faceless. All of them, the government know them. They know mm. the government of Nigeria. The government mm. know them. Mm. So for those people, fucking faceless people, no, nobody's faceless. Okay, okay, thank you.